Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at finding the inverse of a function. I'm going to be going over some key conventions that Vika stipulates we must use in our Methods 3 for exam. It's conventions that cause a lot of students to lose marks. Okay, first I'll just talk briefly about why we want to find the inverse. And that's because the inverse lets us go backwards. Basically, f of x is a machine. Our functions are machines, we put in an input and they output something. What about if I want to take the output and find out what the input was? That's where the inverse comes into play. So I've got an example here, f of x is equal to 2 over x plus 5, and pretty much I want to find the inverse. Now in an exam scenario, I have to do two things at the start. I need to say, let y equal f of x. Now why I'm doing this is because later on, most of you would know we're going to need to swap x and y. And if I don't have a y in there, I can't swap it. The next step is to do just that. But we can't actually swap x and y unless we state what we're doing. We need to write swap x and y for inverse. So it comes up time and time again on VCAR assessors guides that students forgot to write swap x and y for inverse and therefore lost marks. We can't just swap x and y just cause. We need to state why because it's not a mathematical procedure. We need to write down that it is for the inverse. So once we've done that, we can just go ahead and swap our x and y. So x is equal to 2 over y plus 5. And we can simply rearrange this. x minus 5 is equal to 2 over y. So y times x minus 5 is equal to 2. OK, so finally, y is going to be equal to 2 over x minus 5. So now what's really important here, this is a big thing, is that we cannot leave it like this because I will lose marks. Because I've said that y is equal to 2 over x minus 5. What does that tell me? I'm asked to find the inverse, so I need to state at the end, the inverse function of f of x is equal to 2 over x minus 5. So that is how we find the inverse. Those two things we need to remember, let y equal f of x, and then we need to state we are going to swap x and y for the inverse. It's very important we include that so we do not lose marks on our end of year exam. Thank you.